Hey guys, how's it going? This is Flynnmon14 here. And we're here with a special episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dawn of Destiny by Flynnmon14. So let me go back to the home menu. I was actually uh, <laughs> just using that little uh, clip for the intro. Now, um, what I thought of for today's special episode of Dawn of Destiny, and actually, um, Believe it or not, this is a really good time for this special because I just recently, recently, really still pretty recently, relatively, I edited episode like 110 or so of uh, Dawn of Destiny. And what better way than to not only record Dawn of Destiny, but open the Legendary Collection Kaiba box uh, within... At first, I didn't think of this until just now, because I, I thought it'd be, you know, t there's too much content here. I was just like, there's no way I should, you know, realistically be able to, you know, both open this and draw my sacred blue eyes white dragon. But, uh, yeah, ultimately, I just realized, hey... For this, you know, 114 special, you know, video special, I could actually do both. Um, and here's the kicker is, I told you guys we're going to go after Umi Rika three times. Uh, and in general, yeah, we probably will. I think I got it from the Raw statue uh, a couple videos ago. But either way, we're just going to do, uh, we're going to do... Uh, well, to start this under 14 special, we're gonna do a Bandit Keith, then Pegasus, mmm, god boy. And then we'll do probably Yami Yugi in single duels, and finally, after all of that, if we're still short on time, what we will do is duel. Um, we will duel the triple duel with Mako, Rex, and, uh, uh, yeah, so let me double check my deck. Uh, yeah, last time we had one, uh, Beast King of the Swamp, yeah, this card, which is really, really good, so I, I like it. So yeah, just a little, uh, recap there, uh, as far as the, our last episode with commentary, so let's start with Bandit Keith. And of course, I'm not really going to pay attention to the duels so much, as I am the Legendary Collection, so. But yeah, the duels, I'll do some voices here and there, but I'm not, you know, eh, you're really concerned. Ha! I think it's funny that a fool like you thinks you could beat me, Bad Keith, the most unattractive first name in America, the number one ranked American duelist in America. <laughs> Can it, Bones? We're working on a strategy here. <laughs> Check it out, Dweeb. My machines are gonna roll you over. Now get up, Launcher Spider. 100 missile barrage in America. Oh, uh, I really hope he summons Launcher Spider now. That'd be so awesome. Ooh, and do we have it? Do we have a first turn fusion? Oh, that's right. I don't have St. Joan in this deck. Well, that's unfortunate. But, as you guys know, I do have Tongyo. So, with Mystic Tomato, we can get Sangin. And with Sangin, we can get Tongyo from the deck. So, we will eventually fuse. But, to start the opening... Uh, I'm, I don't really care if we view Bandit, oh my god, he just skipped, wow. But yeah, to start, let's look at the Legendary Collection Kaiba box. And I'll go ahead and read the back of the box. Three Legendary Collection Kaiba Mega Packs. Thirty foil cards. Four secret rares and six ultra rares per mega pack. Five new ultra rare variant cards. Disclaimer, further information on the Yu-Gi-Oh! trade game, visit www.yugioh-card.com. <laughs> and there's some of the uh, artwork on the back of the box there. I think you guys can see that pretty well. Yeah, pretty awesome stuff. Uh, but anyway, let's see. It's our turn. Oreno Tan. Daro. Believe it or not, I'm actually not going to summon Beast King in case he, like, I don't know has right Geki randomly or something. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we'll just attack for now. Ew, death dog spider. Ha, <laughs> is that all you got? In America. 
Alright, so allow me to go fetch a handy box opening tool, guys, like a knife or something. And I'll be right, right back. Actually, I'm gonna grab a key from the key rack right over there. And with that, let me hold this up, this beauty. And let's open the Kaiba Legendary Collection box. And now you guys get to watch me, you know, because I'm on a time crunch here. Oh my god, gotta fiddle with the keys. You know, I got I to gotta look stupid here for a second, so. Now, but I think the key here, <laughs> get it, the key, yeah, is to attack it at that point of the box, so. There we go, and then once you're in, you're good, so. Treat it like it's Christmas, there we go. Oh, man, and now you can smell, I smell it, I smell that new card smell. But yeah, that's, that's what it looks like without the wrapper, so that looks pretty good. All right, let's open this and get that new card smell. Okay, there we go. There's uh, our pack with the promos. Let me make sure you guys can see this, actually. So I gotta lean in here for a second. Set these keys down. But yeah, here's the promo pack. Yeah, you can kind of see that. There you go. And then, I think you guys saw when I pulled it, but the mega packs come kind of in here. Actually, let me turn on this light. Because that probably will help you guys see the cards better. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> That's the light I needed. Okay, okay. Recap. So here's the promo pack. Yeah. There we go. And then you saw the mega packs. I'll just pull those out. You get three. So. There we go. Three mega pet cats of Kaiba Legendary Collection. Also, if you lift up that part of the game board, you get this, whoa, whoa, whoops. <laughs> Coming at you with an explosion. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I guess you guys got to saw that, see that game board in 3D. <laughs> nah, but I, I don't really mind. This is more of a bonus episode for Dawn of Destiny, so I don't really mind. But uh, let's just end our turn here. <laughs> um, <laughs> here's the uh, awesome looking game board so there you go a little kind of pan of that <laughs> and then there you go you get uh, looks like finger critius perhaps on front there actually I'm not sure what monster that is on the legendary collection Kaiba but that looks awesome I mean Kaiba is just one of my favorite characters in general and I mean, just to have his mat like this, I mean, that is, that is really, really sweet looking, man. I'm sorry, but it just is. But, uh, yeah. I'm sure Yugi fans will hate and say, you know, oh, it doesn't even have blue eyes on it or something like that. But, I mean, anyway. Yeah, Keith basically just passed this couple turns here, so. He ain't got Billy. We ain't bam crap. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to summon Armored Zombie, uh, yeah, we'll just keep attacking. Idiot! Death Dog Swaddle! Salary got dweeb in America. How, how could you be me, the Intercontinental Champion in America? You're asking for it, dweeb, in America. I'm like a chameleon, an American chameleon. <laughs> Alright, so... Let's open the promo pack first, shall we? So there we go. Let me kind of lean up to you guys. And uh, yeah, Keith, this is like the perfect duel to open this on. Because Keith is really like not making me stop and think at all. So that's really good. But yeah. So here we go. So for the promo pack, you get Goddess of Sweet Revenge. Super rare. I'll go ahead and read the effects. I have no idea what it does. While you control no cards, and this is the only card in your hand, when the opponent's monster declares an attack, you can discard this card. Destroy as many cards as possible your opponent controls and special summon one monster from the extra deck. So that's a really good promo card right there. Pretty good. <laughs> and definitely worth, worthy to name. Also, you get the King of D. <laughs> Not just the Lord. The King of D. And I assume it stands for dragons. Uh, four star dark type, just like Lord of D, it has 1,211. This card's name becomes Lord of D while on the field, so that means you can have three of each in your deck, which is good. 
when, when this is a normal summon, you can discard one spell trap at one of the fleet of summoning dragon, the in melody of awakening dragon, or dragon revival rhapsody from your deck to your hand. So that's really, really good. Especially if you have this plus two dragons in your hand, and then you add Flute of Summoning Dragon, that's really good. So, And then next you get, I think this is probably new to the set, and obviously the card that was on the front cover, Destruction Dragon, Ultra Rare. Read this one as well. Must be special summon with the Fang of Critias using Ring of Destruction. Ah, awesome. 2000 attack, fire type. Fire attribute, uh, dragon type, 8 star, 2,000 attack, 3,000 defense, so that's interesting. Once per turn, you can target one card, use it. your opponent controls and destroy it. Then it fills a monster card, inflict damage is equal to your opponent, equal to the original attack. So that is pretty, pretty cool that they released that. Uh, and then we have Dragon Revival Rhapsody, which is new out of the set as well, for the promo. You control a Spellcaster monster, aka Dark Magician. You can target up to two dragon monsters in your graveyard, including at least one normal monster. Special summon them. Your opponent takes no damage this turn. You can only activate one dragon revive with reps the once per turn. But actually, no, I was joking about the Dark Magician. Uh, a lot of the uh, tuners for Blue Eyes are special. Are, eh, I was about to say special summonable. Well, that too, but they are also spell casters, so yeah, that is a really good card. And then finally, you have Loop of Destruction. This is a new trap card, and I think it's actually really pretty good. So it's a continuous trap. Uh, this card's name becomes Ring of Destruction while on the field, so that's good. Once per turn, if a monster on the field is destroyed by a card effect, which happens all the time these days in the, in the meta, you can target one monster on the field, destroy it. Okay, so see, that's pretty good. It's almost like a counter blow. And then the each player takes 500 damage. So really, really good in a burn deck. And really just good overall. Just because of what I said. Uh, yeah, the uh, the targeting really... Uh, yeah, the... Let's return if a monster on the field is destroyed by a card effect. And this... Because see, the big catch with Loop of Destruction here is that this even applies if you destroy your own monster with your own card effect. Uh, a lot of people will miss that on the first read and just think, oh, this card ain't that good. Well, trust me, man. This card is pretty good in my book. Especially if you think of it that way. If you think of it in the way that, hey, number one, I'm going to use Fang of Courteous in my deck later. So, and it's treated as Ring of Destruction, so there's that. And then, number two, you think, oh, hey, don't forget, I can use this on my own popping, you know, of my own monsters. Which, again, can happen several times in a, in a duel, overall. And in fact, several times in a turn, so. But just like that, we beat Ben and Keith. I mean, that was really no problem at all. Um, so let's see what he has to say. Ah, no way! I have the best duels in the entire United States! I'm the Intercontinental Champ, and I lose to an amateur? No way, dweeb! You must have cheated! No, Keith, you're the one who cheated. You stuck those seven cards up your sleeve, Keith. Oh, dear me. Pegasus, hand over that prize money, now! Or you, you face the wrath of my invisible gun! Alright, just like that, we duel Maximilian Pegasus. There's no one on Earth who could challenge my deck. Mm, God, boy. <laughs> There's no one on Earth who can challenge my deck. Mm, God, boy. And of course, that includes you. And you must beat me in order to save your dear mother, brother Mokuba. Mm, let's do it. God, boy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And just like that, we haven't really faced Pegasus too, too much in single duel. But basically, you can win great cards from him from any statue. I'm just going to pick the raw, just because, but... Yeah. Uh, that's assuming we win. Yeah, that's that's a big assumption. Alright, so he has Aqua Mador, and... That's it. So, so far so good. I think we'll play... Yeah, we'll go ahead and play... Dragon Zombie. 
And we'll go ahead and play Chain Energy. I was kind of nervous about it, but because he didn't set like a bunch of cards face down, I'm okay with the uh, Chain Energy. Your mind is an open book, God boy. I knew you were going to play that spell card. I was right, right? Tell me I was right. I was right, right? Oh dear me. Ah, oh, that stung. That, but there's more. There's more. I see C, I see E, I see the ch continuous card, Chain Energy, Kyber Boy. And he plays Blood Divorce. Great card. Blood Divorce! Hey, that's what a Kyber's card, that's no fair. You're not allowed to do that, Pegasus. Mmm, take that, Flood. <laughs> Alright, and just like that, we have some momentum. So actually, let's set... Rush. And let's summon Robotic Knight in attack mode. Alright, and after this turn, I'm going to open up our first pack. So I hope you guys are ready. Let me scoot my chair a little closer. Alright, and here is the first Mega Pack. So wish me luck, guys. Let me just kind of get over the camera. Alrighty. And I can hit no there. And he's going to foolishly attack my Robotic Knights. Aha! I guarantee you, you didn't see this coming, Pegasus. For now, I activate a magic card which enhances my robotic knight's points. I activate... No, you, my mind's not an open book. I have something more important than this. I have my destiny. Now go, my magic card. Go, Hawks, go. Destroy his blood force now. <laughs> it enhances my monster by 700 points till the end of the turn. My enemy mullet is furious. <laughs> Alright, so let's set down Royal Decree. And we're gonna set regardless, so let's just attack first. Maybe it's Cyberpot, who knows. I don't know, it's just... I'll see you, little hero. Anyway, our secret out of this pack is Maiden with Eyes of Blue. And I gotta say, this card looks awesome as a secret rare. So, uh, anyway, next card. Azure Eyes. Silver Dragon for a soup. No, that's a secret as well, and that looks pretty awesome. I think that's its first secret printing. Mirror Force Dragon. So that's awesome as well. A lot of awesome cards. I'm just going to keep saying the word awesome. I really love this uh, legendary collection. Full Force Beatus. <laughs> Check that out. So there we go. Another Kaiba card. And Vampire Lord as an ultra rare. Yeah, this card was ultra rare as well. Uh, it was a promo out of uh, Rise of Destiny way back in 2005 or so. And awesome, we got Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon. Which is really good, because I only had one, and I had so much trouble pulling this out of Shining Victories. Well, you guys saw, I never pulled it. So now I have two uh, as of late, so that's awesome. And we get Sunda Dragon as an ultra rare. That looks great as an ultra. And look at this alternate artwork, man, of XY Zetho Dragon Cannon. Oh, man, I love that. Look at that. Oh, and I gotta read the effect. It's just so classic. <laughs> XN Cannon plus Y Dragon Head plus Z Metal Tick. Must be viewed special summon Goku by banishing the above card you control. Cannot be special summoned from the graveyard. You can discard one card, go on. Then target one card your opponent controls. Destroy that target next time on Yu-Gi-Oh! NT. <laughs> but yeah, that looks great for the alternate artwork of that. Oh, All right. And for the last few cards, we have the White Stone of Ancients as a secret rare. So that looks pretty cool. And then we have Cost Down as a secret rare. That looks pretty cool. Look at that. Look at the shine on that from the angle. How cool is that, man? <laughs> and so with that, yeah, we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 cards in that pack. So it came with 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 4 secrets. So these were our 4 secrets. There we go, which is pretty cool. Came with uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 ultras. So that's pretty cool, and, uh, and there's alternate artworks in here as well, which I really didn't know beforehand, so that's pretty awesome. So, anyway, uh, main phase two, I didn't forget, thank God, and we will set Man Eater Bug. Alright, with that, we'll end our turn. And, uh, whew, we're actually losing the duel here, but uh, we have momentum, so to speak. 
Yeah. Ooh, a trap card by Pegasus. Mmm, can you see my trap card coming? Mmm, god boy. Alright, so we got Magic Jammer again. Don't really need that. But we'll just attack directly, hopefully. Okay, yeah. They hold me in laser! Oh, that's stung. Ah, great trap card, Pegasus. I saw that attack coming, god boy. I activate Numinous Healer. The effect of this card restores my points by a thousand whenever I take damage. Also, I get 500 extra points for each Numinous Healer in my graveyard. Mm, god boy. But this is good. We have Magic Jammer and um, Royal Decree, which means we can shut down either his traps or his spell cards. How wonderful! I activate my spell card! Now, normally I would negate this, but I'm actually gonna let it go. Yeah, and I'm glad I did, because uh, alas, that was sort of a bluff, because he has no uh, Toon Monsters to summon. I activate the Magic Card Toon World! Welcome to a world of pain, a world of absolute agony, a world of endless joy and laughter. I activate the Magic Card Toon World! Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. Man, the theme for that was like so silly in the uh, show. Armored zombie! Deadly zombie slash! Oh no! Don't do that again! Oh dear me! <laughs> Alright, but it looks like Pegasus is basically done because of chain energy. I activate the magic card! She's not so sick! Naughty! I activate the magic of Monster Reborn. This allows me to revive one monster in the graveyard. Not so fast, Pegasus. For now, I activate my trap card. Magic Tight Joel. This cancels out the effect of your Reborn, the monster. Also known as Monster Reborn. Now, for my big brother. I will finish you off, you fiend. Go, my deadly robotic knight. Attack. Homing laser slash beam gatling gun. Ha! Now hand over my brother, the soul card, and your entire dick. You're a better duelist than I thought, God, boy. But next time, I'll be better than you. Mm. There won't be a next time. For now, I, I will separate your soul from your body in my own way. Just like I promised, Pegasus. <laughs> Oh, that was awesome. That felt awesome saying that line. Alright, and so like I said, now we face Yami Yugi, and we will start to open up another pack. I hope you've come prepared, because it's time to duel, sucker. Can you dig it? No, I cannot, but I can dig opening up the second of our Kaiba Legendary Collection Mega Packs. Yugi, what do you think of that? And my Destruction Dragon on the game board. <laughs> Alright, so second pack opening. Sorry, I didn't really get that on camera, but you guys get the point. So we got Secret Rare, Silver's Cry. <laughs> A lot of these Secret Rares look pretty awesome. And then we have ABC Buster, uh, Dragon Buster. So that's in this set as well, which is pretty cool. I wonder how many cards total are in this set. I really didn't do any research, so that's that's why I feel so excited opening this is because uh, a lot of the cards, I don't even know what's in here. I just assume there's tons of Kaiba support, both new and old. Uh, Mausoleum of White, I actually need that too, as well as Tyrant Wing. So some of these cards I've been needing. Oh my gosh, and Heavy Mech support platforms in here. Check that out. I actually, uh, this is an uh, ultra rare, and I used to run my old, uh, you know, Alpha Belt. Alphabet Soup. Sorry guys, I'm so excited. I used to run my old Alphabet Soup deck, uh, aka X-Head, Y-Dragon, and Z-Metal Tank out of uh, Magician's Force. And um, after Rise of Destiny, I threw three of these in there, as well as Machine Duplication. So that was fun, and it's awesome to see this as an Ultra Rare. Wish I would have had it as Ultra back then, too, but it's great to see it now. <laughs> and we have the Fang of Critias, which is good. I, I needed one of those as well, so Ring of Defense. Uh, doesn't see much use, but... And Warrior Elimination, wow. Uh, that's kind of random. But as an Ultra, I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> and then Dragon Ravine. That's a really good field spell for the for the Kaiba decks. And Melody of the Awakening. It's always good to have another one of this. And that is our pack for that. So, uh, pretty good um, pulls, honestly, because I wanted the 
uh, spell card support out of here. I needed the Fang of Critias. I did need the Dragon Ravine and the Melody. I definitely needed the Melody for sure. Silver's Cry is still pretty useful, and Miles, Ma Mausoleum. Like I said, that's I think that's my first Mausoleum. I don't think I pulled that in uh, Shining Victories either. So, <laughs> some uh, so yeah, if you really had trouble pulling like all the cards you wanted out of Shining Victories or um, any of the other, uh, we'll go second just to <laughs> give you time to breathe. And I get a drink here. Oh, where is my drink? Oh, did I not bring my orange crush in here? Huh. I don't think I did. Well, I can handle it. I just need to take a pause one, one second. Uh, yeah. Ooh, that feels better. But, uh, yeah. If you... What was I saying? Yeah, if you didn't get, like, some of the cards you wanted this, uh, year, this time around with, um... If you didn't get some of the cards you wanted... Shining Victories, yeah. If you didn't... <laughs> if you didn't get, like, some of the best pulls out of the, your, you know, four or five booster boxes out of Shining Victories, like, I... Just like me, I mean... Because I opened all of the box... All, all the... All the packs of Shining Victories on the... Not bad, Flood. Not bad. Now, for my turn, I draw the Dark Magician. But, uh... <laughs> Yeah, you guys saw my luck, and it wasn't very, you know, well, it, it, don't get me wrong, it was great. We pulled a lot of uh, Amorphage support, but, uh, yeah, the support I wanted, the uh, blue eye support, mm, not so much on my, uh, nice, you, nice. You attacked my Morphing Jaw, Flood. My Morphing Jaw number two will now use its special effects. First... It forces all monsters on the field to return to the decks. Then, both players will set cards. Ah, I see you've drawn both a uh, Panther Warrior and Blood Force. How lucky for you. And you drew them right away. For if you had drawn spells or traps, you would have had to discard those to the card graveyard. I summon a Slate Warrior in attack mode. And I use its power to destroy your Panther Warrior. Go, Slate Warrior! Eye of Newt. And I love the music for when you do a Yugi. Ah, we won't attack this turn. No need because uh, the AI likes to put a uh, Newt. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I called it by the Japanese sub name. They like to put, yeah, Slate Warrior in defense, just like that, so yeah, no need, uh, you know. And plus, also don't forget, if you attack Slate, you lose points, so really no need for that, and that way we can use Man Eater Bugs, special effects, and uh, yeah, just destroy Newt, I mean, <laughs> Slate Warrior, sorry. <laughs> Man Eater Bug, Kogeki, bite out, take a bite out of Yami Yugi, mmm. Not bad, Flood. Not bad. Go, Critter! Three eye gaze. Go, Blood the Force. Bloodthirsty Slush. That was a good attack. And now we'll open the last pack and get toward the end of this video, guys. So this is pretty awesome. This is about how long I wanted the duels to take as well in, in Dawn of Destiny. So it's awesome. I'm getting like two things done at once. So. A uh, really good idea. I'm glad I... Uh, let me know what you guys think as far as in the comments. Do you like the... Oh! And we got Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. As a shiny. <laughs> as a uh, secret rare. Start. So that's pretty cool. Uh, this came from the uh, movie. Yu-Gi-Oh! The movie, of course. But yeah, let me guys... Let me guys know what you think. Yes, that is correct grammar, Joshua. Good job. Flood and Mod 14. Good job. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Obviously, you can tell I'm a bit more excited than usual. So, I love it. Another Priestess with Eyes of Blue. I'll take it. And now, I summon the Kaiba Man myself. Then I'll use a special ability. By tributing this card, I can special summon one Blue Eyes White Dragon from my hand. And now I activate Virus Cannon to destroy your magic cards. <laughs> Great pull. And De Devastation Virus. And now... We have er Eradicator Epidemic Virus, Goku. Pretty good trap card. X-Head Cannon. And Dragonity Le Legionnaire. Or as I like to say, Dragonity 
Le, le unge i neari. <laughs> and awesome, we pulled Dragon Spirit of White. Uh, I never pulled this set of Shining Victories either. And if I did, I only pulled, I didn't pull as many as I wanted. So great to pull that as well. And Burst Stream of Destruction. <laughs> so pretty cool pack to end it with. Uh, because I especially wanted, this was like the virus pack. Check this out. <laughs> Check out those, like, and we didn't really pull any of these viruses either before. So that was the pack for viruses. And, uh, yeah, definitely needed the Dragon Spirit of White as well. I'll go ahead and read the effect on this one just because I don't think I ever got it in Shining Victories. Always treat it as Blue Eyes card. Treat it as a normal monster while in the hand or graveyard. So that's good for certain uh, summoning conditions, like Silver's Cry. When this card is normal or special summon, you can target a spell or trap your opponent controls. Banish it. See, that's pretty awesome. If your opponent controls a monster, quick effect, you can tribute this card, special summon one blue eyes white dragon from your hand. And that is Dragon Spirit of White. Really needed uh, three of them at the time of Shining Victories, but sadly, I don't think I pulled any. <laughs> so, uh, But yeah, that's the opening, guys. Um, of uh, legendary, The Legendary Collection Kaiba Box. Uh, I actually, uh, and we're going to finish this duel with Yami Yugi now, but uh, fun fact, I actually, um, uh, what, what, what was I saying? I actually, um, what was I saying? Uh, oh, right, right. <laughs> I actually uh, bought two uh, Legendary Collection Kaiba boxes, and oh, Yugi, now I activate my trap card. Pit of Despair, Trap Hole. Man, I think, yeah, we definitely would have finished him off too. Would we have finished him off if I had left Man Eater Bug? Uh, no, so, re really didn't lose anything either way. I mean, I guess it could have been worse. It could be Rain. <laughs> no, it could have been worse. That could have been Torrential Tribute, right? Pfft, that would have been just my luck. Luckily, Yugi did not run that. Oh, now I activate my spell card. Hoppy no Haneboshi. And Yugi's finally done, so he's got a handful of tributes or spell cards he doesn't wish to play, so either way works for me, so now I sacrifice Sangen to summon the Dark Witch. And doesn't really matter what card I take. So this is pretty awesome. We beat Yami Yugi probably with our arguably our worst deck, question mark. Yeah, because this is a deck I'm just like trying to show monster animations. Not bad. Not bad, Floodmon 14. Not bad. That was a good attack. No, I lost. My Dark Magician, no! I can't lose it! I guess you wanted to win much more than I did. It was a great duel. Floodmon 14. And I will pick the Slifer statue, obviously. Yes, and we got Call of the Haunted. Don't really need it. I don't think you're allowed more than one but uh we will check the build deck screen real quick and check to find out no you're not so okay but either way that was a good series of duels and we will say and yeah yeah hope you guys liked the uh Yu-Gi-Oh the dawn of the legendary collection <laughs> how about that that's pretty unique um I don't think anyone else's... What I like most about this opening idea is I don't think anyone else's, uh, you know, opening of the Legendary Collection Kaiba, I don't think anyone else's opening will have, like, the Dawn of Destiny on it. So that makes it pretty unique. And for that reason, I, I really hope that this video does well, uh, you know, in the long term, because it is pretty unique, uh, the way, you know, the way I went about it. So... Uh, yeah, um, but once again, yeah, let me guys, let me guys know, yeah, let me guys know what you think, uh, no, seriously, but, yeah, guys, let me know what you think, and, uh, yeah, we will enjoy some of the more calming music of, uh, and actually, let me sort this out while I'm in here, let me remember to add, because what fusion could we do right away, St. Joan, I think, um, yeah, I think we could have done St. Joan, like, right away. Um, and I'm sorting this by name, right? Actually, no. There we go. There's name. Yeah, let's see if I have St. Joan. If not, 
uh, next time we're definitely going to duel uh, Taya Gardner. So. Uh, I love the deck building screen though. It's just so, uh, <coughs> especially after all that talking. Like, listen to the music. It's just so calming. So, uh, St. Joan. There we go. So yeah, that definitely needs to go in the deck uh, because we have uh, Marie Notenchi. Oh, I'm sorry, Marie the Fallen One. So with that and Beast King of the Swamp here, you can make St. Jones. So, and we could have done that first turn in one of those duels, but yeah, the issue's been corrected now, and we will, uh, yeah, end construction. And I will see you guys next time. So, and perfect timing because I just got the low battery uh, notification on my cell phone. So with that, guys, I'm just going to go over here and, uh, yeah, make sure I save really quick. Uh, yeah, and uh, hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully there are really, 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 really no audio issues in this episode like some of the others of Don Destiny, because if so, I don't really know what I'm going to do. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Where's that blue eyes twin burst dragon? Definitely want to get that on video. Where is or art thou? Well, even if oh there she is, yeah, that'll be a great way to end the opening. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh man, classic. All right, that's pretty awesome. Oh, and the spirit dragon of white. Well, I think I already recapped that. Yeah, didn't I? Yeah, I already kind of recapped that. So, all right, awesome. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Flintmon fourteen signing out. You guys have a great day. Love you. Bye.